And while I was on NHN's page, I saw that she died in an abusive relationship. What? You're welcome to my channel. Okay, guys. Um, concerning Osina Chinwachuku's death, I've been thinking a whole lot about it. Honestly speaking, I've been thinking about it. And this is not uh, because I've had any personal encounter with her or because she's my relative. I don't know her in person. But I've been touched by her ministrations on several occasions. I mean, several. And she's a gospel artist that have that her songs has touched many lives. When I mean millions of lives. But the reason why I, this thing is giving me a headache is because of the kind of things I've heard of how of how her husband brutalized her, how he maltreated her, how he he would tie her and ask children to flog her. A lot of horrible things have gathered so far. But in this video, I'm going to be focusing on this um what franklin edwards said on the premium times the heading said osinachi wachuku brutalized by husband before her death then under it says one time in a studio this man slapped her in the studio just because she wanted to record the song in Igbo against his will she did not do anything on her own that means this woman was just under the influence of the husband under the power of the husband like he 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 he, brut he truly brutalized this woman, and I'm going to be addressing. Uh, I'm going to be attaching some of the comments from that post from Premium Times. Okay, now someone commented, say Frank Edward, I'm suspecting you. So she doesn't have relative, no sister, no brother, no mother, no father. Now you be mouthpiece of the family. You never tell us your back cover. Please allow the husband to have peace. He is innocent. Another commenter said, Foolish people can only talk when she's no longer alive. All this time she's sick in the hospital, they didn't come out to say she's been brutalized. It's after her death. Shame on some people. And after a whole lot of thoughts and headache, and I asked myself, if all these things that different people are saying about this woman's husband maltreating her is true, how then was she able to stay in the marriage till her death? How come she didn't speak up? And after a whole lot of thoughts, and I draw, I had to, I draw a conclusion saying, if she could stay in a marriage where the man beats her, ties her up, sees her money, stops her from attending a, 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 a events, then how sure are you that? When the people and eyewitnesses comes out to tell the public, how sure are you that she would not stand on the side of her husband? Not because she's a bad person, but because she wants to cover the space. She wants people to see her as whom they expect her to be. She wants to cover that cover up for her husband. Not because she's a bad woman, but because she wants to live up to expectation. What am I trying to say? It pains my heart I'm talking about the dead. The truth is that there is social pressure to be in a perfect relationship once someone is a celebrity, once someone is a pastor, a pastor's wife, a gospel minister. There is this, we, we, we map out the kind of life we expect them to live. We forget that they are human beings as well. Just like I am saying, if Frank Edward has spoken up, she would have covered up for her husband if you ask me this is my own opinion because she don't want people to to you know say they are wayward a uh, bible discourages divorce and uh, this that 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 blah 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 because we have mapped out their life to be a certain way we expect them to have a perfect relationship Imagine if she was divorced and she sings a kweme. Trust me, nobody will fall under anointing. Trust me, nobody will not will give their life to Christ at her ministration. The way she ministers and people cry when she's ministering. I find personally, even when I'm playing her, her, her CDs, old ones, I cry. I, I fall under the anointing. I connect with the Spirit of the Lord. Trust me, if she was divorced, we will see her as wayward. We will see her as we will criticize her. That is just the gospel truth. Let me use this blessing, Nkechi blessing and her husband's gist. 
as an instance about a month ago there was a rumor about their breakup and in Kechi blessing replied them with this video hmm? go see smile original smile oh, if he smile you don't know ah i mean my leg boom out go to fair for your sim fair no sim long no the group where this one is part of the people that are crushing on you they wish that you are on top of them like this that person is a woman no worry i don't remove her from the live video haters so you see it was rumored that they've broken up and they they made a love video to like let people know that ah we're still in love and blah 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 just to paint the picture we want to see like they want to give people what exactly they're looking for and that is exactly trust me that is what people want to see they want them to live their life openly to to, to show them that they have a perfect relationship and in less than two months this happened so my brother i just thank god i'm, I'm a bit relieved that everything is out at least <laughs> i will never be a victim of domestic violence anymore <laughs> that one alone it's a relief for me. She's been physical towards me. Slaps me, eat me severely. You went to use fake page to DM a blogger that you, you built my own house for me. You get money. You don't build house for mama we born you. Now me, you won't come build house for. You get money. You don't build house for your mama we born you. Mama, your mama no get car when she they drive. You won't say you don't get one cowboy. You won't come build house for me. Are you crazy? Or shake my phone any? Because I kept you quiet. I don't want to talk. I have said that. So, my people, that is it. We have, the society has mapped out a lifestyle for them. They have their own personal life, but there is, we expect them to do everything perfectly because she's a pastor's wife, she's a minister, she should have a perfect relationship, she should not complain about abusive husband, she should not, no, 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 no. The pressure is too much because of what is expected of them, because of the, the of how people will react, they, they they die silently. But is it worth it? But then after all the thinking and thinking, there is a post that played out what I was thinking about. Let's read this post together. This is from Christian Daily Post, and I will start from the second paragraph. And it says, No man killed Mrs. Osinachi, religion did. No matter how much she was warned and cautioned, she would never have left that marriage because of the kind of behavioral standards expected of her calling as a minister. No ministry would have invited a single divorced mother to come and minister. No one would fall under any form of anointing if she got up to sing. She would not have been recognized and acknowledged in women forums and gatherings of her own parish, not to talk of those on the street. Those of you he here today shouting, why didn't she leave, would have been the first to scorn and look down on her, being the hypocritical lot we are in this part of the world. She obviously would have been suspended and given a back seat if she were to be, if she were to be in some commissions, as I know today. Religion killed her and we still kill many others. But you all are not ready for this conversation. <laughs> that is it. That is exactly we do not want what as in, we fear what people will say. We want to live up to the expectation of people to the detriment of our own life. Is it worth it? Let this be a lesson to all of us. This is really painful, but it is well. May her soul rest in peace. Please subscribe and thank you for watching.